Hi everyone, this is Lisa. I'm glad to be back to show you another mini album which I've created. This time I've used paper from this collection. I think it's the Santoro London collection. Um, it was really nice and the colours were lovely. I also managed to pick up matching tags little memory envelopes and some matching ribbon. For this album I took inspiration from Katia, um, I hope I pronounced that correctly, and she has a YouTube channel called Image of the Creator and she makes absolutely gorgeous mini albums, she's so talented. And the inspiration for this album came from her Serenity mini album. So you really need to look that up. It's absolutely gorgeous and lots of lovely ideas inside. Little pockets, little extra projects that you can use to make your album more interesting. This one here, the pages measure just over 6 inches by just over 4 inches. Kept it very small because I already had some chipboard um, already cut. So that's why I made it this size. And I used the 8x8 eight eight paper from the collection. I've just kept the front quite plain. Um, cut this out from the collection and stuck it on top of one of the base papers used a ribbon tie here we have a little bow and on the back just another sheet from the collection the papers were really nice to work with inside just use this little sheet of tags to make the inside cover and made a little pocket here i managed to get a nice um kind of doily edge punch and that's the first time I've used something like this and I've put one of those little memory envelopes in there. I love the purple colours. Here I have a little tag. Just had a little embellishment in my stash which I used for this and I fussy cut this out of the collection and put it onto the little foam dots to raise it up a little bit so that one has turned out nice the colors all really went well and i'm finding it much easier to actually bring everything together with the colors all matching different um type of pocket here with a little photo mat Turning over, just put, um, didn't put, didn't stick this in all the way, just part of the way so that you could slide some photos in there. And that was a little tag cut out from the collection. On this side, I've made a belly band here, cut out another tag from the collection, put in one of the memory envelopes. And a little stopper because it was starting to slide out. So that's looking really nice there. Now this is an idea which I had picked up from Katia's Serenity mini album. And you open this up to show three little pockets. And this pulls out to make a little um, folder and here um, I used different types of embellishments like a little brad here and kept that plain because I didn't have enough of the purple paper left but I put paper on the back so that it's not just black there this one, the same, 
and put a little eyelet on this one here. These are very cute. I like that idea. And we have a pocket there. Left put the little hinges on the sides to make lots of room here. And a piece of pink card. Mm, I think I prefer the black card, but never mind. Plenty of room in there. On this page, moving on to the greens from the collection, um, stuck this in so that you could use it as a pocket. And stuck one of the little tags in, left this loose so that things can slide underneath and I cut this out from the collection. A little mini flap here with a book inside and turn that over and there's another little tag fits in here. On this side, same idea again, that you can slide things into here. Another little book. And I used ribbon from the ribbon collection that I bought. And another tag page. I love the blue paper in this collection there just wasn't just wasn't enough of it i would have liked to have done more now that pulls out here that was a tag from the tags that i bought separately and we have a little tag here and one here And I used the edge punch there to make a decorative edge. And this just has two pockets this time with two tags in the top one. Kept them plain. No more blue paper left. And didn't want to ruin it by putting something in that didn't quite match. And a little mini tag here which opens up. This is a waterfall page with a magnet closure and I put one of my little embellishments there and this opens up and this is the first time that I've actually made these into pocket pages. They each have a tag which slides out and it all coordinates. So I really like this. This was another one of Katia's ideas. So you really do get lots of ideas when you watch her videos. I like this one. Isn't that cute? Just left that plain because the paper's so nice. On the inside back cover, made another little pocket with a pull out photo mat and one of the ribbons. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to manage to find anything to match these ribbons, but I think it works um, with this. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So I hope you like this album. I really do, and I really feel that I'm getting a bit better with each one that, that I make. So I can't wait to start the next one and to show you it. So I hope you like it and I'll say goodbye and cheerio from a beautiful Scotland today. Uh, the weather is gorgeous today. It's about 8 degrees which is unbelievable for February. We usually get it much colder than this. So it's a lovely day to be sharing such 
a nice mini album with you so I really hope you've enjoyed it and I'll say cheerio until next time. Thank you.